In this video, we review the Anioki A8 Pro Max, capable of 200 miles on a single charge. Let's check it out. Hey, this is Nelson. Welcome back to the E-Riders channel. I want to give a shout out to Anioki for sending us out the A8 Max Pro for testing and review. This is what the box looks like when you get it. Cut the straps. Check it out on the inside. It's about 100 pounds. It's going to take a little bit of muscle to get it out of there, but it's, it's doable. Some other stuff in the box, too. Don't forget about the accessories. Check that out right now. Look, you got some key fobs two key fobs two different colors for some reason but that's okay and we have the, the manual we have some pedals and we have a nice little tool kit always comes in handy They have a nice big headlight. I love these headlights. All right. We also have the charger, the huge charger. It's a eight amp charger. Gonna need it to charge that huge 60 amp battery. Huge fan to keep it nice and cool. All right. Well, before we get started, let's take the battery out because uh, it's heavy and it needs to be charged, so it'll make things easier while we do the assembly. Oh, it's pretty heavy. About 33 pounds. Anyway, just plug it into the side there. Alright, we'll let that charge up. Now, first things first, let's get the handlebars on. Alright, tighten it up. Not just on top, but also on the sides. Make sure it's lined up with the rest of the fork. It's a nice huge seat. You have a quick release seat post, but it's a huge seat post by the way. So it kinda kinda sucks you can't really change out the seat post or your seat, but you know what? It's alright. If you're a big rider, this this is gonna last you a lot longer than those other seats. You're not gonna be bending any seats uh, or seat posts at all. So this is perfect, nice and soft too. It's not bad. All right, we'll put the front wheel on. Make sure you got the disc rotor on the side where the, where the brake caliper is. 
you're going to have to line it up right in between the disc pads. You don't have much space to, to get in between, but it, just lift up the front fork, line it up on the axle, and then grab the the washer. It's got a notch. You can only fit it in toward the bottom there. And put the, the uh, bolt on and screw it. Don't forget the headlight. It has two screws, but I find it easier to take the bracket off the headlight and then uh, put the headlight back onto the bracket. This makes it easier to get to those screws to tighten them up because they're kind of far back. Alright, now for your pedals. Tighten up your right one clockwise and your left one counterclockwise. For your front fender, just takes one screw right at the top there. You don't have to worry about the headlight because it's already up above. Don't forget the fender stays on each side. Tighten those up. All right, don't forget to plug everything in. There we okay. go. Line up the arrows and push, no twisting. And before you take it out, don't forget to put air in your tires. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now you right away you'll notice that your bike won't turn on. So uh just so you know, you do have your key fobs. Press the middle button, it'll beep and it'll actually unlock the whole electronics of the bike. So you can turn it on. But also has an anti-theft system, system as well, so you can uh, set the alarm. Now, if you arm the bike, all you gotta do is press the button up on top to arm it. See how it turns the bike off, and the bike is armed. If somebody tries to steal your bike, they're gonna move it probably a little bit, and then the the uh, warning alarm goes off just for a few seconds. If they decide to keep going, then the full alarm goes on, and it just gets really annoying and probably scares them away. Not bad at all. Then you just turn it off by hitting the, uh, the unlock. Now they still won't be able to act, turn it on. So even if they did take it, they wouldn't be able to use it. You have to hit the middle button again to unlock the bike so you can turn it on. That's pretty cool. Let's check out the rest of the uh, cool components it has. So here's the A8 Pro Max all put together. One of the features about this bike is it's 52 volt, 60 amp battery uh, that is also UL certified. Now you might remember another 60 amp battery that we reviewed uh, about a year ago. It was on the AQ177 Pro Max, it's a step through bike. Now we tested this bike at 200 miles of range. That's insane. And uh, the A8 has the same battery. So on the battery, you also have a battery indicator. You just press that button. And then moving on back, you do have two shocks, which are adjustable. All you have to do is just turn that little dial right there to, to fine tune your suspension in the rear. Moving on down, you have a 52 tooth crank set. And to the back, you have a Shimano turning derailleur system. Shimano cassette and right there on the motor which is a uh, 1200 watt motor that peaks at 1600 watts huge power coming out of that motor that delivers a hundred newton meters of torque nice rack there you could put a basket you have the rear tail light that's integrated to the battery plastic fenders you can even put a seat on the back of that speaking of seats you got this nice seat with the adjustable quick release seat post. It is fixed, so it's kinda how it is, but it is quite comfortable. Going on to the other side, you have these hydraulic calipers on 180 millimeter disc rotors. And you also have your plug-in which you can also plug in and power up various 
campsite electronics and even appliances. This is your handlebars. Going up to the top there on the left, you have a nice rubber grip that has these clamping. You have the controls for the large horizontal color display in the center. And to the right, you have your twist throttle and your horn just below, along with the Shimano 7 speed thumb shifter. Now, these are some uh, forks that aren't quite adjustable, but they are hydraulic suspension, and you're kind of just stuck with the, with the with the way it is. Uh, the uh, dual motor that came out does have adjustable suspension. Nice headlight. You also have about that much in travel for the suspension. And you're sitting on some. Uh, CST BFT 20 by 4 inch fat tires. Nice cable management. Now this bike has a 350 pound payload capacity so it's great for large riders. And uh, riders are recommended to about 5'3 to 6'5. So all this at a great price point too. On their website, the A8 is on sale for $1,899. Now, that is as of this video. So, it could go up. It can go down in the future. Who knows? Uh, I will put the link down below if you want to check out the current pricing. Uh, now, it does have free shipping. So, that will save you some money right there. And they do offer a two-year warranty on their bikes. Now, it does come in a few colors. So, you do have some options there. Um, but if the 60 amp battery alone isn't good enough to convince you, they also have a dual motor version of the A8, also with the 60 amp battery. Now, we're going to be testing this uh, and reviewing the, the dual motor in the future. So if you want to catch that video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, that way you'll be alerted when that video uh, is uploaded. Now, let's go ahead and take the bike out for a spin and do some speed tests. So we are in uh, PAS1 and we're going about 10 miles an hour. Pump it up to pedal assist 2. And that takes us up to about 17 miles per hour. So almost double the speed jump. We're going to put in uh, PAS3. Assist 3 takes us up to about 25 miles an hour. I'm going to slow it back down there just because I'm running out of uh, runway. So I'm going to turn around up here and we're going to do, uh, we're going to see what pedal assist 4 feels like or how fast that gets us going. So let's turn around right here. Now we're just going to bump it up to 4. See how fast that goes. So there's really, you can't really, uh, you're going to be pedaling way too fast in uh, pedal assist 5. So I'm slowing back down. So now we're going to do a speed test of just throttle. So, let's see, 3, 2, 1, go. So this is just throttle.
we're still just going to use throttle. Take a left here, and remember, you know, using all your. Uh, let this guy go. And this this bike has really good acceleration. I just wanted to add, um, like off the line, this is uh, it's really really quick. So that's nice to see. Okay, get over. Now let's do a little bit of uh, off-roading test to see how it handles the off-road. All right, let's do a little bit of off-roading on the Anioki A8 Pro Max. So let's see how she handles the off-road here. And, uh, I'm, uh, we're going to be putting it in uh, PAS2 and uh, just using throttle for now. So, so far she's handling this trail really well. The suspension is uh, really nice on this bike. Well, just And we're going uphill right now too, through the grass, and it's handling it beautifully. Well, uh, we're gonna take it down to. We're gonna. Well, we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna put it in PAS too, and we're in, uh, we're not gonna use the throttle, so we're just gonna pedal. Let's see, let's head down over here. That way you can kind of see the display and the sun's not really in your eyes. So yeah, autumn, right, right away guys, I'm gonna right, say right off the bat, um, if you're gonna do trail riding, put it in uh, pedal assist one, cause this is way too fast. Even if, I, even with me going um, slowly on the pedals, it's just, it's, it's taking me too fast. So I recommend uh, PAS one from from what I'm seeing. Wow. This is really nice, guys. The suspension is doing a really, really well, really, really good job. I could, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is riding really nice. I think the, also these, uh, this has 20, uh, 20 by four inch tires, so that helps a lot. Um, and I think that paired with the front and uh, rear suspension, it's just, it's handling the, like this, like a, handling this like a dream. This is crazy. So I would say if you guys were gonna buy this bike for um, like, just for like maybe trail riding and stuff, or even, even to replace maybe like a dirt bike, like, or if you had a farm or something, something you could haul stuff with. I mean, this thing has such a big battery that you're not gonna have any trouble, you know hauling stuff with this. This stuff's gonna, this battery's gonna last you. All right, well, we haven't done a range test yet, so, but well over 100 miles. All right, so we're doing uh, eight miles per hour. Woo. Not trying to go off the trail. All right. 
Hope the sun's not in your uh, eyes. You can still see the display. Um, yeah, we haven't even lost any battery yet, which is which is nice. I mean, not, not that I'd expect to with such a big battery, and um, so I know that this battery has a, this is 60 amp hours, so that's that's crazy for an e-bike. You know, most bikes come with around maybe 4, 15, 20. Um, so to see a battery triple that size is just, you know, you never see that. So <clears throat> I definitely recommend this bike. Take it up uh, to pedal assist too, see how it handles it a little bit faster. There we ended up to about 13. So yeah, I just want to show you guys where I'm at. So, uh, really pretty, you know. This is just what I love about e-bikes, is that, you know, they allow you to get out and explore and, you know, places you probably wouldn't go. Otherwise, you know, e-bikes allow you to explore nature. And, uh, and, I mean, that's why I like them. So, let's keep going. See where this, uh, see where this path goes. And we are pedaling, we're not using throttle. It's just, uh... A little too fast there. Alright, here's a smoother section. Alright, breaking into this curve, turn. back up to the street so something I just wanted to say is that it does sense this I'm pretty sure this is a cadence sensor in this bike it does take a second from between the time that you stop pedaling and the motor um, and the motor goes off 